guys and welcome to another video i'm so excited to make this video for you guys because it's really simple and it's a hack that i personally use so in my other video i showed you guys how to get set up with g suite which is a paid method for your domain email but if you're not ready to start using g suite just yet but you want to still have that domain email that makes you look professional i have a simple hack that you can start using so if you've been following my videos i created a gmail address and a business called for everything copy in order to show you guys how to get set up for your business and in this video i'm going to be creating a domain email for that business so the business is called for everything sorry for everything copy dot com and you can see that we have a simple website that we haven't designed yet which i'm going to make a video on how to design a website so if you want to see that video click the like button hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you know when that video is released so but for right now i'm going to create a domain email and that domain email is going to be hello at for everything copy.com so that's what we want to create but we don't want to use g suite we don't want to pay for it i want to show you how i do it for free and all you need is your hosting account so wherever your domain is hosted in order for you to have a wordpress site that's all we need and let's get started so the first thing that you need to do is to log into your hosting account which i've already done i use site ground they are my favorite all-time favorite hosting company and that's what i use so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to log into my c panel so my c panel is my control panel is the back end and it's where all of my stuff is if you look here i have a lot of domains that i'm hosting in this account so the first thing i'm going to do is hit that go to see panel button and it will take me to the back end where i'll be able to create my email so if you scroll down here under the mail section you're going to see email account so hit that button right there and select your domain so i have a lot of domains in my account and i'm just going to scroll till i find the domain that i'm looking for it's called for everything copy.com i have found it and the email i want to have is hello at for everything copy.com so once i type that in the email box i'm going to set a password that i can be i can use to log in so this is i will need to remember this password to so make sure to remember it so i'm just going to type in the password right there so the password let's say i'll do all right that's very strong and i'm just going to do it again they both match all right so the mailbox quota 250 mb i'm just going to leave it at that it doesn't need to be so much either way i'm going to be deleting the emails from the server as i'm going to receive them so i'm going to hit create account so once i do that my account is officially created and if i hit the next page here where is my account okay let me just search it so all right there it is so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit the more button and i'm going to say configure email client so it's going to show me everything i need to know to in order to configure my emails to receive it inside of my gmail account you can also do this for microsoft outlook you can do this for your ios your mac email app and all of that but i'm just going to use um, gmail today to show you what i'm trying to do so the first thing i need to do is go to my gmail account i'm going to hit the settings go to settings again and then under accounts and import i'm going to scroll down and i'm going to say check mail from other accounts so i'm going to click on the add email account it's going to ask me what email address i want to add so i'm just going to shrink this window right like this so that we can look at them side by side so the email that i want to add is hello at for everything copy.com and i'm going to hit that click next it's going to tell me that i, I can import import through the pop3 port so i'm going to click next again it's going to ask me for my username and as you can see here my username is for hello at for everything copy.com so i'm going to copy and paste that so it's going to ask me for a password the password is what i put in when i was setting up the account inside of my hosting provider so what i'm going to do is i'm going to type that password again and now my pop server the next thing it's asking me for is my pop server so what i'm going to do is come here and see what my pop server is and it says my pop server is 
for everything copy.com so i'm going to copy that and paste as well and the pop3 port is 995 so i'll change this 110 here to 995 and then it's going to i have a couple of options here i can leave a copy on my server if i want um i i generally don't do this because i'm it's just going to have duplicate emails both ways but if you if you if you're the kind of person that is very cautious and you don't want to lose any emails you can check this box but i'm not going to check it right now i'm going to select to always use a se secure connection i have ssl for my domain so i can do that then it's, next thing i'm going to ask you is if you want to label um your incoming messages i like to label my messages i'm just going to put hello for everything copy and hit the okay there and then the next thing i'm going to do is it, it, you also have the option of archiving your incoming messages but i'm going to skip on that okay. because i don't want it for you to skip my inbox okay so i'm going to hit add account so once you do that it has officially added the account for you the next thing is going to ask you is do you want to also uh, do you want to also be able to send email using that email address and i'm going to say yes that's what i'm going to click next it's going to ask you what name do you want to send us i'm going to leave it as my name and my son name leave the treat as an alias mark um checked as it is and then just go to the next step so the next step is going to ask you for your smtp server as well so i'm going to come here and see what my smtp server is the same as the last time it's for everything copy.com and my username is also my email address so i'm just going to copy it here and i'm going to paste it's asking me for a password again so i'm going to add my password that i wrote oh sorry oh goodness me okay and then the port is the smtp port 465 so that's what i'll change this to and you see automatically changes to the ssl and then i'll hit add account so if you check my credentials i think i put the wrong i think i put the wrong password so let's try again i'll hit add account and it should tell me that i should verify it to send me an email to verify so i'm going to close this here not now you see it says click the link in the confirmation email or enter and verify the confirmation code so i'm going to close this because i can click on the link in my email so what you want to do is you come so if you see in the back end now i can check email for for everything copy and i can send email as hello at for everything copy so i'm going to hit check mail now so that it can refresh the server and this is the downside that i said your emails don't come instantly they, there's always a slight delay for me it's completely fine but if you're the kind of person that needs your emails to come in instantly then you might need to go the g suite way and then i've also created a tutorial for that you can just go straight into the description box and you'll be able to see the tutorial i created so we're going to go to my inbox and we'll see the email that was sent by gmail and all i have to do is click on this link and it will be confirmed so it says please confirm mail sending as hello at for everything copy.com i'm going to hit confirmation and it says success so now i can send emails as hello at everything copy.com so um if i want to send an email for example uh, let's just say i'm saying hello at google.com as my email address and the subject is hello right you you can choose to send your email as um um your normal gmail address like um for everything copy at gmail.com or you can choose to send as hello at for everything copy dot com so that's how it works and if you receive an email see it has this label so if you receive an email to your hello at everything copy dot com email address once you hit the reply button it or it automatically sends the email as um hello at for everything copy.com that's basically how it works so that's how you can set up everything it's really simple it's fast and with this method you can add up to five email addresses like five email addresses that you can receive emails from and five email addresses that you can send email from so um just keep that in mind when you're doing this you have only five options so after five it'll tell you that it's filled up and then you need to 
um, use the G Suite method so you can see the G Suite method. So I have a referral link if you want to check out G Suite. I recommend G Suite, especially for people that have huge teams. But if it's just you, you're a solopreneur, you're just starting out, you don't want to spend so much money on so much software, then this is the easiest, fastest route for you to go. If you have any questions or if you run into any issues, be sure to leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, share with a friend who needs to set up this for their account so that they can stop looking not so professional because they don't have a domain email address i can't wait to see you guys in the next video take care of yourself and bye bye